All right, I have yet another request that came in, and this one comes in from one of my contributors. Thank you, Mr. Edwards, for suggesting this one. Uh, contributors get a higher priority over the request in the request section on my channel. Today, we are looking at the May 2012 snapshot of Archbang, and we are going to look at this right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, let's begin. We are looking at the latest snapshot of Archbang, and uh, pretty much this is just a newer snapshot. Pretty much it has the same things that Archbang had uh, previously, other than it has a few cosmetic differences. It has a different wallpaper. It has the same conky uh, user interface up here. Okay, and then you have the Tint 2 panel, and clicking on either one of these will take you to a different desktop, as you'll see here, uh, the little uh, graphic there. You, uh, this uses uh, the open box user interface, which happens to be my favorite uh, user interface that does not have any compositing effects and that sort of thing, but there is a compositor for it for doing shadows and that sort of thing. I'm running this as a live CD right now, so uh, we won't see any of the compositing effects and that sort of thing. This is a very lightweight operating system, and this is great for those of you who want to try out Arch, but don't want to go through the hassle of mucking about with the terminal and everything. You can try this out. The installer is easy to use. You can follow my Archbang Bootcamp series, and it shows you how to install this, but you may run into less problems if you install this later snapshot. When you right-click on the desktop, you will see that you have a list of applications that come pre-installed on this. In Accessories, you get Catfish, which is a uh, file utility which allows you to search for uh, files. You get the character map, disks, file manager, and this uses the lightweight PC Man FM, I believe. Let me just check that just to be sure. I'm pretty sure that is what it is. I also like the theme on this. Very nice. Yes, this is PC Man FM. I can see that right now. Okay, so I like the theme. Very nice. Looks like it matches my thing. <laughs> okay, let's see what else you get with this. You get the LX terminal, the lightweight leaf pad, the Parcelite uh, clipboard manager, and then X Archiver. In graphics, you just get Shotwell. In internet, Firefox comes preloaded. In Office, you get the ePDF viewer. I recommend that you install Events. That pretty much reads everything. In sound and video, you get Dead Beef for listening to audio, Gnome M Player, and XF Burn, a really good lightweight disk burning utility. In system tools, you get Batty, and then you also get HTOP, which is probably, bar none, the best system monitor. And uh, this actually runs in a terminal. Let me show this to you in case you've never seen this before. Here it is. Uh, this is. This pretty much tells you what resources you have running, how much CPU, how much memory, and how much swap is being used. And then pretty much you navigate by using your arrow keys. And then you just use the F keys. Uh, you have help, set up, search, filter, tree, sort by, nice. Uh, you can kill or you can quit. I think this is really nice. I like this a lot better than, a, than some of the heavier weight graphical utilities for this. So let's go ahead and press F10 and we will kill this application. All right, and then in other, you get a rander, which uh, helps you uh, adjust your screen resolution, the Adobe Flash player. You can easily customize the, the look and feel of your open box system. 
you ha can configure your network connections, open box configuration manager, you have the tint 2 panel, and then of course you can set preferred applications on this. And then of course a quick launch to your places, browse here, it takes you to your home folder, and pretty much in your uh, home folder, uh, once you install, pretty much you have to put those directories that you want in there. So there is a little bit of work that's required on this. All in all, uh, this is Archbang pretty much, and uh, this is just the latest snapshot. So let me uh, go ahead and pull up the terminal, and we'll have a look and see uh, exactly uh, what... Um, uh, let me pull that up here. There is the LX terminal. Uh, let me see what kernel this is running. Okay, this is running the latest kernel, 3.3.4. I just upgraded to this kernel the other day, so very nice. And uh, so this is the latest snapshot. If you want to try Arch for the first time and you want the latest and greatest of everything, this is the one you want to download. Be sure to follow my Archbang Bootcamp series. I will take you step by step through the installation of this. You can even uh, do a bunch of cool little things. You can set up your own desktops. It's a great basic setup to have uh, to build on top of, although I do recommend uh, installing Arch by itself. But if you want to have a few training wheels, this is a good one to go for. If you thought this was useful, please comment down below. And I'd like to welcome all of my new subscribers to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, please be sure to send me a private message. I'll try to answer the questions as best as I can. Also, use the search function on my channel uh, because if you're requesting a specific distribution or an answer to a specific question, odds are I may have it answered on my channel. So please be sure to do the search before uh, sending in those questions. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you next time. Mm -hmm.